what does the 12th night mean to you? Because it's received rave reviews, and anybody that's seen it, it's just been an incredible experience. Uh, well, it's been marvelous for me, uh, as much as anything, because it has represented the return to the dramatic stage uh, um, that had followed a gap of 17 years. Um, at university, I had been in, I think, over 30 plays when I was at Cambridge. Uh, the great advantage of um, uh, the British university system is, is that you don't get points or anything like that. It's not part, it's entirely extracurricular, and therefore it's very good fun. Um, <laughs> and also, you don't have grown ups bossing you around. All the drama societies are run by undergraduates and even, you know, the, even the, te the technical side and everything else. And so you get enormous experience. And, and it was while I was at Cambridge that. I uh, did a lot of Shakespeare parts. Partly, I, I think I was successful in playing Shakespeare at university because uh, almost all undergraduates are aged between about 19 and 23, and I appeared to be 50. So um, <laughs> uh, all the pretty lithe young things got Romeo, and I would. Um, is my son not working well? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. All my, uh, and I got always these parts of grand kings and booming figures, um, which were sometimes very good parts, uh, leading parts, and sometimes they just came on and blessed the lovers at the end. Uh, this idea that I'd originally had, that I would go back to Cambridge and get a, a doctoral thesis on Shakespeare and quietly grow tweed in the corner of some <laughs> cloister, uh, vanished as I, as I took the easy money and turned into a tart. <laughs>